I remember a young boy driving beyond the speed limit, crazy, on roads that were unsafe to even go on the limit, on the speed limit. You know, I come from a country where even if it says 120 on, on the speed limit, sometimes there are potholes that make you move at 50 and 60 and 40 and even less. So if you're going to cruise at 120, 130, it's dangerous. And you have a young boy with a beautiful motor vehicle trying to cruise at whatever high speeds. And then I remember telling this boy, you know what, don't do this. He told me, well, whatever's written is going to happen. Whatever's written is going to happen. I won't be harmed unless Allah has written the harm. Well, Allah may have written that you were foolish, so you harmed yourself. It doesn't mean that because Allah has written it, that you need to now become careless and lose yourself. Didn't Allah give you the brain? Didn't he give you safety rules and regulations that people reminded you of? Didn't he give you the ability to distinguish between what was safe and not? You have to work towards what you believe is going to protect you. Do what you believe is going to save you. And then if something happens, you can say, you know what? It was in the hands of Allah. Otherwise, you are to blame. The whole of judgment is based on how you and I used the choice that Allah gave us. On the day of judgment, what is Allah going to ask you? Do you know? He's only going to ask you about how you used the choice He gave you when He gave it to you. If He did not give you a choice, there's no question asked. If suddenly the roof dropped and the earth opened and people died and something happened, Allah is not going to ask you, why did you die? Because you had no role to play. You were not given a choice. But when you have a choice and you committed suicide, you're going to be asked, why did you do that? You can't say, well, I was just thinking if it's my death, I'm going to go. And if it's not my death, I'm not going to go. So I decided to stab myself. Come on, come on, come on. You can't do that. May Allah Almighty grant us protection. So... To protect yourself, you make dua to Allah. Like I said a minute ago, what did I say? May Allah grant us protection. Say Amin. But you also need to apply your mind and the capacity given to you by Allah. The energy, the effort. You walk in a certain way. It's cold out there. If I'm not wearing a jacket and I know I've got one mile to walk and I have a jacket and I leave it, who is to blame if you were to get ill and sick? It's you. You should have covered yourself a little. If you know it's a short distance, I'm just jumping into the vehicle. It's a different thing. Notice how I'm covering myself because I didn't wear anything today. I jumped from the vehicle, came straight into the building. But there was a reason. Because I knew if I'm going to carry massive coats and everything, I'm going to have to take it out. I just need to walk in, walk out. But if I were to walk a whole mile, I would have brought something so warm with me because Allah has given me the capacity and the energy and the ability. I can't blame Allah then to say, well, it's okay if I'm meant to be sick, I'll be sick. Can you say that? Some people do say these things. Well, if I'm meant to, then it will happen. No, 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 no. If Allah gave you the capacity, He expects you to use that capacity. If Allah gave you the ability, He expects you to use that ability. That's what He's going to ask you about on the Day of Judgment. So we make dua, Oh Allah, protect me. But with that, don't put yourself into a situation where you know you're going to be harmed.